Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earthrealm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple where there's an angry former Elder God and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Nether Realm.
end is near. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> what happens to everyone? Gotta get back to the chopper. <clears throat> Sonia, get out of there! <laughs> was unpleasantly cold. Didn't know you were such a fan. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. The mighty gods of Earthrealm. You be foul of these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friend. You abandoned them to their deaths. I returned them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share. And my lord himself shall witness your fall. Nightwolf! Mission, 
The real Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. Yes. Enough's enough, big guy. We're gonna fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. Sergeant, what is it? That the elevator? Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? I stay here. Close the door. Look at the reach! You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. The Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! That is mine! 
Ready? As always. to join me. No! I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. You really are a fallen elder god. Johnny Cage, the amulet! Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny... Did we...? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The Chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. <laughs> How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. Your beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are gonna retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The rebels win, 
those accords will be history. The expression is not worth a dirt on my shoe. Kota Khan has always bargained with you fairly, Kino. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's got to be worth at least 50. I must attack her immediately. End this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. Make way for Kotal Khan! Move! The Tarkatans are in position. We await your order. It is given, dearest Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an Emperor... False Emperor! ...requires power. Power you have, Melina. And won't use. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. Now! Do it! You said a mouthful. Million. Melina's given me twice that to take you out. <laughs> Pray for the Khan's mercy. You're not worth the dirt on my shoe. D. 
Dinian, Tanya. I'm pleased you remember me, Koata. I will never forget those who freed Melina. She vowed to create a free Edinia, something you refused to do. A united outworld stands strong against its enemies. It will never be united under your rule. Your rebellion is all that prevents it. You are a fool to trust Melina. She tasks me for the last time. Melina. Kano was to kill you, miserable snake! Bro, not day! Another Adenian, the supposed half god. Kogat here! I am a son of Argus. I was not merely declared a god by befuddled commoners, Bulak. Surely Melina suspects your true intentions, son of Argus. My intentions are to teach you the difference between pretension and godhood. That should silence you. You won't touch him again. But I will. As the heir to my father, Shao Kahn, I, Melina, Kahnam of Outworld, order your execution! <laughs> your sacrifice honors me. There will be an execution this day. You will atone for your descent, Melina. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge. A mere cub, grown to be a jaguar. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. The forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests. A 
All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? You! I need to You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant... You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! <laughs> Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. Lack focus. You are more like your mother than you think. should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Kenshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. Lack of conviction. You are not your father. Not yet. Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes. Military decorum is important in your family. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our history share a dark chapter. You cannot evade me. Do not judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. <laughs> rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. Oh. Chill of despair. False bravado does not suit you. <sighs> Any ideas? Sub-Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. Yes, I suppose so. Shuo, Tang Jin! That worked? This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn. I should have seen it. You and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short.
So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Lin Kuei shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees from the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Li Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Li Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I don't know, I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? Shell in archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. We may has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. Because you can always trust an Outworlder. But if Outworld's our ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance. Not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. 
But my employer, Koto Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the Khan, I'll tell him you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? I shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. Fuck it off. I'm a quick learner. for a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes. to learn more about you. Too bad you're insane. You guys all right? <laughs> the Earth Bombers, yes. This one must learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blaze. You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Reiko Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable.
It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Not far enough. Just let me go. Blood of Kung Lao. Descendant of the great Kung Lao. A common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple? And walk out again? Without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger. Make you amenable to reason. And make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin. Like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has- She employs Shinnok's amulet against me? The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care? When Outworld was offered no participation- We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under Outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of Outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. You have won nothing. Merely a few more seconds of breath. Uchi! Now, Emperor? The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna. Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Thora, can you not perceive I am indebted to them? You honor us, Kotal Khan. 
Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. Stay with Kotal Khan. We'll figure out next steps once I've got Kano locked down. Yes, ma'am. Cage out. He's still here. I can feel it. Report. One of the refugees. Found her near the north perimeter. This is one of Kano's necktops. Inform Lee May. Tell her we're investigating. Raiden, what'd you find? Shinnok's amulet has been stolen. Replaced by an exquisite duplicate. Damn it. Something is wrong. I will speak to you once I... Raiden? Raiden! Lieutenant, I need you to take a team to Fort Charles. Check in with Raiden and report back. What's going on? What's your update from Colonel Flagg? He said, why are you bothering me? And I said, because my ex-wife is a pain in it. Where are you going? You can't just walk away. I'm in this too. Not my decision. Thank your buddy, Secretary Blake. This is what split us up in the first place. You disappear in your work. Never time for me and Cassie. I had responsibilities. Sorry you couldn't be the center of attention. There was a time when you cared more about your family than your job, General. Nope. No evil sorcerers in here. Would you get serious? Quan Chi needs to clean up his man cave. It's cleaner than yours. You're comparing me to Quan Chi? Only in terms of cleanliness. This. I wouldn't do that. Ah, oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? You wish for adventure? You shall have it. Fire! So would you walk? I have no need of your soldiers, but you and Mr. Cage will serve me well, once you are dead. Don't know when to quit, do you? Not as tough as you look. Quan Chi? You've lost. A delay, Miss Blade. The inevitable still beckons. Johnny! not happen. I'm sorry, Jax. Uh, 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 
I'll get you out of here. You'll be fine. Don't know. Blood's supposed to be on the inside. Raiden! I must reverse his spell. Ata Romileko Esaltika Arthentika Ata Romileko It's working! Esensalta Barpenta You cannot save him. <laughs> Your weak thunder god, Johnny Cage is mine. No, he's mine. Save him. I've got this son of a bitch. That wasn't even close to what you deserve. Sonia Blade, the link with Quan Chi is not completely severed. Not a problem. The others are restored to the living. By coupling Quan Chi's dark magics to my own, I was able to restore their souls. Is he gonna make it? Haven't I told you? Uh, he's a god. Huh. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and they said I couldn't do horror films. <sighs> He's gone? How did he... We gotta go after him. He can wait. Right now, we need to get you and the others back to Earthrealm. Why is it taking so long? Name, Rayen Edu Keire. Thanks. All right. You Let's seem go. to know this Kano intimately. Not the word I'd use, but yes. I chased him for years until he escaped to Outworld after Shinnok's invasion. Why would he return now? All that matters is he's... <laughs> caught. Gotcha. Are you lost? <laughs> Hello, love. Been a while. Not long enough. This is General Blade. I need MPs to my location immediately. Oh, let's keep this between friends. A trade. Info for freedom. I don't negotiate with scumbags. Well then, if Mother won't play nice, Maybe daughter will. If you ever 
Back off, and all's well. Piss me off, and Cassie's gonna meet Uncle Kano. I swear to God, I'll be No, I'm not done with you. <sighs> Sonia, ease up. You kill me. Never fight. Amulet. Move, move, move. Sonia, we need that info. Sonia, don't make this another thing you'll regret. Quatan jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. You have new information from Earthrealm? Kano talked. Gave us the details on Melina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her, while this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Stealth is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Devora, we will grant their request, and I will finally be rid of Melina. This one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Like others, this one is not pleased with Melina as color, but it is not clear your crew will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen, and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling, and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that- <laughs> Ah, there they are. Three of your fellow counselors, whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only you would hear our counsel. As war with Netherrealm looms, I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers! You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you! I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! <laughs> this one serves Nelina no longer! <laughs> ah! You will defend your Empress! Creator Shao Kahn is dead. We will serve whom we choose. Araka, 
is dead. Your last ally has left you. Take her away. We would serve the new ruler of Outworld. Then you serve Kotal Khan. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish, you fill the void. Exactly my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving without your friend, Devora? Your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Kaitin do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. <laughs> Now two Edenians will die. I know you said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. Let us go. Step aside. That is really disturbing. Devora! This one knew you would not stray far from the amulet. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was meant for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! This one will enjoy your death. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. You do not deserve death by an emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy First Minister. Thanks for that. I know I'll never eat again. With your leave, we're gonna head back to Earthrealm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. <gasps> the hell are you doing? 
Earth Realm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that Accords you- The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kojotan's possession. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our lord. This one lives to serve Shilp. You have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Anji. from our world. Shinnok will soon be freed. We make for my fortress. Is there a problem? Two problems. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one this- You didn't come here to discuss farm implements. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. My help? I know. I don't have any right you to- You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen, I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs, I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. So what is it you need help with? The outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. He shows his face after 25 years, just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Cage. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the cell? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all this? <sighs> Outworld with Cassie's team recovering the amulet. She'll be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from them soon. So what you guys think? Are they gonna kill us? They would have done it by now. Unless Kotal Khan's planning on having us as guests at the Coliseum. 
Well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Me, at least. Tough being the General's daughter? <sighs> you have no idea. I do. My great whatever grandfather took down Shang Tsung, saved Earthrealm. How often do you think that comes up at family gatherings? That was 600 years ago. And yet, you'd think it happened yesterday. <laughs> no pressure there. I've trained all my life. Can fight my way out of nearly anything. But I still feel like a second-rate cage. <laughs> at least you grew up with people expecting things from you. I thought you and your dad were best friends. <laughs> now? He was a no-show for a long time. I can relate. What was that like growing up, having an ex-revenant father? Jin. No, I'm asking. Couldn't have been easy. He was just a bit overprotective. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. My dad came home with a broken jaw. <laughs> got this. You've got what exactly? Trust me. Away from the bars. How'd you do that? I overloaded his senses. It only works at short range. Being the son of a telepath has its perks. I didn't used to think so. Yield. Well done. You are now Chu Jin. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chu Jin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But. The clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father... I don't have a father. Yes, you do. One who's proud of you. A Chujin in record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. Now get up. I want to knock you down again. Takeda, cease! 
Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon. Together. This is Devorah's work. No argument there. Only she could create wounds like these. That Devorah is full of surprises. Question is, is she working with anyone else? <laughs> what is it? Damn, he's made us. Okay, guys, standard diamond formation. Takeda, you're on point. Jackie, bring up the rear. Kung Jin, air cover. You got it. The Earth Realmers. Devorah freed them. <laughs> Not the Gasu! One down, two to go. When we get back, you're teaching me that. Deal. Go help with Ermac. I got this. Think you can handle me alone? You're either brave or foolish. Brave or foolish, I'm alive. Let's see what's worth learning in there. So many minds trapped inside. We exist to serve. Bound by Shao Kahn's magic. Chaos. The voices. We are many. You are one. Your abilities fail before us. I'm enjoying this. I think I've had enough of Outworld. I'm starting to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. It won't be out long.
Devora. And the Earth Roamers? She stole the amulet, then helped them escape. She betrayed us to the Thunder God. You wound me, Devora. Prepare the legions. We go to Earthrealm. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden. We're all in one piece. No one seems to be tailing us. Have you been able to determine where Devora was headed? We think she's headed for the Sea of Blood. Damn. Dad? She's coming here to Quan Chi. There's a secret portal near the Sea of Blood. Quan Chi had it built when we were getting ready to invade Outworld. Great. Dad, what are you doing? Why are you in the Nether Realm? But now who's being overprotective? I know you think you have things to make up for, but... I'm doing this for Sonya. She's family. That's why I'm worried. I'll be fine. You stay safe, you hear? You stay safe, too. I love you. Briggs out. Briggs out. Feeling better? Or worse? Not sure. Maybe both. <laughs> They'll be fine. The question is, will I be? We have good crossfire position. But why is it Quan Chi travels by conventional means? He seems unable to fully use his magic. He's weaker than when I was in his service. Serena's dead on. He doesn't have Shinnok as a power source. He's still Quan Chi, though. I realize you agreed to guide and observe, but you are welcome to assume any role you wish. I'm too rusty. I don't want to jeopardize the mission. He approaches. Not interfere, Jackson Briggs. Go, Go back, back into hiding. Hiding. Guess I have. That knocked some of my rust off. Welcome home, Jackson Briggs. This hill is not my home. Then why be fool enough to return? I got a family to protect. Quan Shi reunited me with my family. He will do the same for you. Quan Chi is not helping you. It is possible to escape Quan Chi Katana. 
I can aid you, as Bihan aided me. You became too familiar with Bihan, allowed emotion to corrupt you. Emotion freed me. I don't understand, Katana. I mean, I hate the things I did here. But you enjoy being a revenant. It suits me. I am a victim no longer. Yeah, I know what you mean. But this ain't the way to assert yourself. I gotta believe there's hope for you. Mother of God. We've lost many. The rest are wounded. And our friends? The tide turned against them. They fled. How you two doing? I'm fine. <sighs> That's what I thought. Where are you going? Go to bag me a sorcerer. Alone? You'll be killed. Wouldn't be the first time. In your weakened state, is it possible for you to release Shinnok? I am more than capable. And Devora? Are you certain she is capable? She will bring the amulet to me. And I'll be waiting for her. Jackson Briggs. A pleasant surprise. Nothing pleasant about it. So you return to Raiden? The foolish follow fools. <laughs> Raiden did his best. He saved Earthrealm. He murdered me! No, that isn't true. You were not there! He stole everything from me! You do not deserve to rejoin us. Instead, you will learn. There are worse things than death. I wish I could help you, Kane. Jax, there is no need. Just stop it. It's good to be back. Kenshi, I got him. Excellent work. I'm staying here. Devor is on the way. You need to get Quan Chi to Sonya. She'll make him spill his guts. Sit. I'm guessing it's not your first time in cuffs. What's your safe word? Advise Secretary Blake that Quan Chi is in custody. We'll be moving him to the Supermax facility at Fort Charles within the hour. Yes, ma'am. You two stand guard. Prisoner transfer will be here in 20. Oh, now she trusts me to babysit. Cage, report. We haven't caught up to Devora. We had her tracked to the Makiba Cliffs, but then her trail went cold. Damn. Jackie thinks Devora's unique physiology may allow us to pinpoint her location. She's retooling her smart comp to track Devora's pheromones. On my command How only. Wound. She has to write Do not code. kill. We're looking at two hours? Sergeant, your team doesn't have two hours. We need her found immediately. Sonya! Cassie, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but there isn't time. Bring your team back here. We need to regroup and redeploy. Yes, ma'am. They're doing their best. I know. General, we have a visitor. You two are friends, right? He tell you he was coming? Nothing. General. Master Hasashi, I hadn't received word you were coming. I will have Quan Chi. We have things under control. You can- He must die. Raiden needs him. 
Without Quan Chi, we can't restore Liu Kang and the other revenants. You'd leave them trapped? Like you were? Only Quan Chi concerns me. Don't do this, Hanzo. I'll put you down. Then we are at an impasse. Sibiru! Quan Chi is mine. I wish you no harm, General Blade. Call off your men, Hanzo! If you value our friendship, you will give me Quan Chi. Withdraw. Without Sento, you are vulnerable. Only Quan Chi's death will abate my anger. Hanzo, no! You've earned great trust for the Shirai Ryu. Do not squander it murdering a withered sorcerer. That withered sorcerer is the architect of my suffering. Master Hasashi, I am grateful that you've come. Speak your mind. I do not wish to linger here. You re-establish the Shirai Ryu as I reform the Lin Kuei. We both seek to shed our clan's dark pasts. Dedicate them to Earthrealm's protection. Our common purpose gives us a chance to end old rivalries, to start anew. You'll confess what you've long denied? That your clan's hands are soaked in Shirai Ryu blood? In the blood of my family? Our honor is indeed stained. Please, sit. After you and I were freed from Quan Chi's control, I sought out my clan. I had hoped rebellion from within would have quashed the Grand Master's plans. But Sector had realized his father's vision. The Lin Kuei had been fully cyberized. I pledged to kill Sector and his followers, reform the Lin Kuei, and restore our honor. I am not interested in Lin Kuei politics, Sub-Zero. When I finally killed Sector, I discovered the Lin Kuei had not sacrificed its honor with the Cyber Initiative. We had abandoned it long before. There will be no peace, Scorpion! Frost! The Lin Kuei are still without honor! Huh? <laughs> 
Master Hasashi. Wait! For what? More treachery! I will have your head! Our story ends here, Sub-Zero. What is this? I did not bring you here for treachery. Frost is strong, but lacks judgment. She cannot see the wisdom of peace. I will deal with her. You spoke of the Lin Kuei's lost honor. For years, I had thought you would unfairly blame the Lin Kuei for the deaths of your family and clan. But Sector's cyber-preserved memories revealed the truth. The Lin Kuei need to abide their agreements, Sector. The Grand Master gave Shinnok his word. Shinnok's currency is lies, as is yours. Payment is due. I exterminated the Shirai Ryu, as promised. Hanzo Hasashi lives. He's your Spectre Scorpion. I created Scorpion from Hasashi's soul after he died. We observed the agreement. The letter, not the spirit. You are owed nothing. Harumi... Satoshi... Had I known of my clan's complicity in the Shirai Ryu's extinction, our history would be different. I killed your brother because I thought he... Quan Chi is responsible for Bihan's death. Sector was wrong. There is a debt to be paid, and Quan Chi will pay it. Unbind him. Scorpion. We can't... <laughs> My name is Hanzo Hasashi! You killed my wife. My son. And then you burrowed your way into my head. Misdirected my vengeance. Cost me my one chance to have them restored! Your family, I... Ah! Quiet, sorcerer. Nothing can help you now. At last, you feel my pain. Blood for blood, your debt is paid. How 
small they are. This one greets Lord Shinnok. Quan Chi chose his servants well. He was wise to restore me in Earthrealm, behind their defenses. Quan Chi deceived them, allowed himself to be captured. He knew they would bring him here. A pity he did not live to see his work completed. There will be no surprises from you, Mr. Cage. Bring him. Praise be to Lord Shinnok. Let us be on our way. There is an Earthrealm force in Netherrealm. I am aware. They will be neutralized. Oh, shit. Mom! Where's Dad? Shinnok. Mom, Mom, where'd they go? Uh, Mom? Your father. Shinnok's prisoner. At the Sky Temple. Raiden! Raiden, my old friend. Master Borecho, I am pleased to see you. It has been many years. Too long. Yes, too long. We old warriors need to stick together, eh? Most certainly. I presume recent circumstances precipitate your arrival. Yes, yes. I am concerned that Shinnok may return. I've been trying to contact you. I feared the worst. When Kano misappropriated Shinnok's amulet, he left behind a snare. Disabling it required that I travel to many strange realms. I must retire to the Jinsei chamber, regain my strength. You are close to recovering it then. Shinnok's amulet? I do not know. Disabling Kano's snare demanded my full attention. Once I am rejuvenated, I will confer with General Blade. If only we could have destroyed Shinnok during the last war. If only he were mortal. Such beauty, like gazing upon the Elder Gods themselves. I hold out hope that we can turn this crisis to our advantage. Our soul? Quan Chi's magic binds the souls of many we hold dear. Capture him, and we can force him to release them. Liu Kang and Kong Lao restored. I suppose it is possible. As long as Quan Chi lives. I've long regretted losing our comrade's souls to Netherrealm's evil. Kung Lao and Liu Kang, they were like sons. I would move the heavens to bring them back to the light. It is as Master Boraicho said. The Shaolin Masters are aboard that ship. Boraicho said two ships. The other has disembarked. We need to determine its destination. They will talk. I will see to it. No extraordinary means, Kung Lao. They raided the Wuxi Academy, killed Master Wen. Even with Tarkatans, there are boundaries we do not cross. Yes, Lord Raiden. I still cannot believe Shao Kahn would order such a brazen attack. It demonstrated Earthrealm's vulnerability. Shao Kahn knew we would have no choice but to agree to a new tournament. Liu Kang defeated Shang Tsung. He will beat Shao Kahn. In good time, Kung Lao. First, we free the Shaolin. Oh. 
all are aboard, this one leaves with the tide. We are ready. Shao Kahn demands the hostages be unharmed. Their wounds are not fatal. I would hope, Baraka, for your sake. For yours as well. <sighs> if you harm them, you answer to me. Tarkatans are beaten so easily. Empty threats, Raiden. You will not see the tournament. Do not approve. You will return to the wastes with no prize. Step aside. <laughs> Such power. What are you, Raiden? I am of truth and light. I protect Earthrealm. This one cares not for Earthrealm and worships no gods. <laughs> When a god speaks, heed him. They were not so vexing. All sneers and growls. Let us free those aboard this vessel. Then you will find the second ship. Where will you go, Lord Raiden? The tournament begins soon. Join me as soon as you are able. We will succeed, Lord Raiden. Of that, I am certain. Yet another of your allies falls to me. When he dies, I will claim his soul. You know not his power. His soul cannot be subjugated. Shall we kill him, Lord Shinnok? Not yet. He will bear witness as I conquer his realm. Then I will imprison him as he did me. I would not boast of victory prematurely. <laughs> I have already won, Raiden.
Kung Lao. Desist. I serve Shinnok and the Nether Realm. Because Shao Kahn murdered you. Something you allowed to happen. I will not be so passive in your demise. <laughs> You deserved a better fate. This is not your destiny, Liu Kang. More visions, Raiden? Do you still see the future? The visions are gone, but I know what should be. I was put here by your hand. An accident, which haunts me to this day. I should thank you. You freed me. The Elder Gods you blindly served? I will help Shinnok end their rule. I regret our paths have led here. the Jinsei Shinnok. We have battled for eons, Raiden. Now, finally, it ends. <sighs> We land in 15 minutes. We'll enter the Sky Temple from the terrestrial entrance. Why not go straight there? It exists in a different quantum state, slightly out of phase from our reality. It can't be reached by conventional means. <sighs> Why? It's just us. No one's coming to help. We either pull this off or... We will get it done. By the... What is that? Don't know. But it's headed right for us. All their gods have mercy. Buckle up, people. I gotta put her down. Looks like the temple entrance is 15 clicks that way. 
A moonlight walk in the woods. Another time, it'd be relaxing. I wouldn't have pegged you for outdoorsy. My mother and I live near a forest a lot like this. It really takes me back. After we wrap this up, we should go. Fuck me. We're grounded. That shockwave fried the leads. Then let's get going. We're almost out of time. What are they doing here? Looking for the amulet, I bet. We have to tell them about Shinnok. Call a truce. Bring them to me! Or not. The woods. Come on. Quiet. Sneaky. They're back. We sense them, but the forest teens the souls. Yes. So close. Jackie, look out! You hurt him? You answer to me. Go crawl back under your rock, reptile. Ah. Stop! You need water. Ah. Lean your head back. Ah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah it's, it's fuzzy, but... Better? Beautiful. I've got our Mac. You were spawn of Jackson Briggs. And damn proud of it. I know what you did to him. We took your father's arms. We will take all of you. That was for you, Dad. No more tricks. Just a straight up beatdown. Next time I block. You really creep me out, girl. Two for one. I'll take it. Is here. 
Where is the amulet? Koro Khan, the situation has changed. Do not fling your spittle at me. You tell him? Not yet. He needs to know Busy. that- I will kill you both. Shinnok's been freed. He's at Raiden's Sky Temple. He's already infected Earthrealm's life force. The heavens boil. Earthrealm is lost. Not if we hang together. I will appease Shinnok. Bring him your heads. Gain time to bolster Outworld's defenses. <laughs> <laughs> You need to help us, Kotal Khan. It is too late for Earthrealm. Shinnok is now its master. You should have been with us. That's enough. Fuck me. Don't know about you guys, but I'm living the dream. You have our dreams. Chattel, you die tonight. Nita! stood together against formidable odds. Lesser warriors would not have fared so well. Thanks, Grandmaster. I will remain here to push Kotal Khan back to Outworld. Proceed to the Sky Temple. Earthrealm's fate lies with you. Lord Shinnok is nearly finished. Soon the Jinzei's corruption will be irreversible. The invasion can then proceed. Raiden and his allies will be unable to offer resistance. Once the realm falls, our path to victory will be clear. Advise Lord Shinnok that the Oni and Oroki are ready. At his command, we'll unleash them on Earthrealm. Have you found Raiden's portal to the heavens? Yes, but his ward's protected. We can't break through. That is unacceptable. After Earthrealm is destroyed, we must complete Lord Shinnok's vengeance, invade the heavens, and destroy the Elder Gods. Come. Make war on the heavens? If Shinnok can take down the Elder Gods... End of the universe. Got it. Kung Lao. To see him like this. We'll all be hanging around the Netherrealm water cooler if we don't pull this off. Come on. <laughs> Takeda! Has your mother ever told you what I did to her friends? Kill them all in the blink of an eye. And your own daughter. You proud of that? We are bonded in death. You will join us. And I will give you a proper upbringing. Nice offer, Mommy dearest. But I'll pass. <sighs> I owe you one. I'll remember that. Back off, princess. You think mere words can stop me? Thanks for the assist. Anytime. Tick-tock, ladies. Get 
No! You wish to die first? So be it. You're not killing anyone. Help Jackie! Messed you up pretty bad. Uh, great bedside manner. I can fight. Jackie? It's nothing. Just like Kurdistan. Boot it up! You two go. Jackie and I'll handle them. What? We'll just slow you down. Forget it. Damn it. Keep your heads down. We'll see you on the other side. They taste your flesh, burrow deep. Inside you, they will grow all your innards. By the gods! Dad! Father and daughter. Will they taste the same? You're the bug, I'm the windshield. I'm a little old for hunting. No. Get Shinnok. But... I love you. Dad? So you are the issue of Johnny Cage. Fitting that I exterminate his entire line. You want him, you're gonna go through me. Shit, it does run in the family. Your father's power will not save you. You cannot hope to survive. You got caged. <laughs> Jinsei. What? But you're... it'll kill you. Must be cleansed. Hurry!
Wait. No walks. Poolside. Umbrella drinks. <laughs> Deal. Is he alive? Barely. I'll help him. Help your father. And to think, I was worried when you started dating. Afraid I'd come home with someone like you? <laughs> Funny, beautiful, saves the world. My work here is done. This way. In here. Isolate Shinnok and Devora. And get the medic. We'll fix you up. Help is on the way. You should have seen Cass. Wipe the floor with Shinnok. I believe it. And you. You did a great job with your team, Johnny. You hear that, Cass? She called me Johnny. I thought she might. Too long have I allowed Earthrealm to endure the horrors of war. Time and again, we've defeated our enemies, but we've exacted no retribution, demanded no remuneration. What have we gained for our mercy? More intrigue, more senseless violence. As the new rulers of the Nether Realm, heed me. No longer will I simply defend Earth Realm. I will seek out and destroy all who threaten it. No mercy will be shown, no quarter given. Shinnok was an elder god, impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death.
Remorse for his role in resurrecting Shinnok weighed heavily upon Scorpion's soul. His desire for vengeance had brought Earthrealm to the brink of destruction. Scorpion offered to perform to atone for his offense. But Raiden suggested a more productive alternative. Instead of death, Raiden sentenced Scorpion to life. He imbued Scorpion with a small portion of the Jinsei's power, linking him to Earthrealm's essence. Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu clan would protect the Jinsei and Earthrealm forever. Grandmaster Sub-Zero knew his Lin Kuei clan would need more than martial arts to stave off future threats to Earthrealm. In the frozen reaches of Outworld, he found the answer. A female frost dragon with a clutch of eggs. With his ability to freeze, Sub-Zero hatched the dragonlings. They accepted their Lin Kuei masters and their training as combat mounts. With a force of dragon riders, the Lin Kuei's ferocity became legend. None dared risk conflict with Earthrealm. Exhausted by her ordeals, Sonya slipped into a deep sleep and began to dream. Kano held Jax and Cassie hostage. He made Sonya choose who would live and who would die. Seeing no way to free them both, she chose Cassie and screamed as Kano killed Jax before her eyes. Still screaming, she was awoken by Johnny. He had horrific news. Jax was dead by an assassin's bullet. Earthrealm belonged to Shinnok. It became the staging area from which he would finish his war on the Elder Gods, which began eons ago. The Elder Gods had lied to the denizens of the realms. They were not individual beings but merely parts of a greater collective known as the One Being. Shinnok would merge the realms and awaken him. Whole once more, the One Being devoured the Elder Gods. Shinnok watched with satisfaction. This reality had finally come to an end. After millennia of fending off Earthrealm's enemies, Raiden began to wonder if defense was the best path to peace. In a change of tactics, Raiden and the Shirai Ryu attacked Kotal Khan's armies before they could rebuild. They decimated the Emperor's forces, leaving Outworld at their mercy. The victorious Raiden claimed dominion over Outworld, the first of many threats to Earthrealm had been removed. Quan Chi had long been a servant of Shinnok. His role in freeing him from imprisonment had not gone unnoticed by the Elder Gods. Shinnok was no longer a threat, but Quan Chi's actions had given rise to a new power. After much deliberation, the Elder Gods contrived a plan to rebalance this power before it grew further. Free will was burned from Quan Chi's soul and replaced with a single directive. He must kill Raiden. With Shinnok defeated, Liu Kang explored the Nether Realm, a world that, without Shinnok's controlling power, had descended into chaos. Liu Kang was no sorcerer or elder god, but his fighting skill was more than enough to beat Netherrealm's demons into submission. Liu Kang realized that Netherrealm was his for the taking, and that ruling appealed to him. He would assume Shinnok's throne, and ponder the conquering of other realms. Johnny Cage's life had turned out to be stranger than any science fiction film, but he knew the final scene was approaching. 
With Raiden's direction, Johnny was able to sail to Shang Tsung's abandoned island fortress, where his adventure had begun to contemplate his future. Amid the rubble, Johnny found an ancient tome. Its pages revealed that Shang Tsung had unraveled the secret to Edenian long life. Johnny Cage's retirement would have to wait. Cassie Cage's impressive victory over Shinnok led Raiden to give her a new important task. Hunting down a soul stealer. Cassie did not have to be told that the suspect could be a resurrected Shang Tsung. Having tracked him from the site of his last known assault, Cassie confronted the withered old man. He fought desperately but was ultimately defeated. As the old man lay dying before her, Cassie asked his name. With a mixture of sadness and relief, he whispered, Shujinko.